solve by using Z transform y n plus 2 plus 2 y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to n with conditions are given y not y1 equal to 0 okay now solution taking Z transform on both side okay now taking Z transform on both side that means Z transform of y n plus 2 plus 2 into Z transform of y n plus 1 plus Z transform of y n is equal to right hand side Z transform of n okay now Z transform of y n plus 2 is Z square into y bar of z minus y naught minus y1 into z is to minus 1 next plus 2 into z transform of yn plus 1 yn plus 1 is a z into y bar of z minus y naught and z transform of yn is a very simple is a y bar of z and this is standard formula is a z upon z minus 1 whole square okay now now using condition condition is y naught equal to y1 equal to 0 both are 0 that means y naught y1 and y naught are 0 okay is a z square plus 2z plus 1 into y bar of z taking coefficient of y bar of z so y bar z square y bar of z 2z and y bar of z is a 1 and this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so remaining these terms equal to z upon z minus 1 whole square okay now only y bar of z is z upon uh, this is a z minus 1 whole square and z square plus 2 z plus 1 is cross multiply and this one is z plus 1 whole square a plus b whole square ok now z is take left hand side means cross multiply y bar of z divided by z and this is equal to 1 upon z minus 1 whole square into z plus 1 whole square now consider only right hand side part ok now consider right hand part is consider 1 upon z minus 1 whole square into z plus 1 whole square ok now this is called is a equation number 1 uh, now using partial fraction is a upon z minus 1 plus b upon z minus 1 whole square second bracket plus c upon z plus 1 whole square plus d upon z oh sorry z plus 1 and z plus 1 whole square repeated linear factors ok now taking LCM and denominator both side is cancelled that means 1 is equal to a into z minus 1 into z plus 1 whole square plus b into z plus 1 whole square plus c into z plus uh, sorry z minus 1 whole square into 1 more z plus 1 plus d into z minus 1 whole square ok now find a b c d values now put z is equal to 1 in this one put z is equal to 1 you get therefore 1 is equal to b4 means b value is a 1 by 4 in this equation so in this equation put z is equal to 1 ok 0 z is equal to 1 0 z is equal to 1 0 only b part remaining 1 plus 1 is a 2 2 square is a 4 ok same next is put z is equal to minus 1 put z is equal to minus 1 put z is equal to minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel 0 this a is 0 minus 1 b is 0 minus 1 
b is 0 and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 square minus 2 square means plus 4 only and put z is equal to minus 1 therefore d a 1 is equal to d into 4 now d is equal to again 1 by 4 okay the next is equating equating the coefficient of z cube I'll take z cube on both side okay that means remaining a plus c is equal to 0 or simple c is equal to minus a what is a or any or what is c you get any one value automatically you get fourth one okay now put z is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 means therefore minus a plus b plus c plus d in this equation put z is equal to 0 okay now it is a a plus b whole square open it put z is equal to 0 so remaining minus a plus b plus c plus d now 1 is equal to and you know the minus a means c plus b plus again c plus d you know the values 1 is equal to 2c okay b value is what 1 by 4 and d value is of 1 by 4 therefore c is equal to again 1 by 4 now c is equal to minus a or a is equal to minus c c value is 1 by 4 and a is equal to minus 1 by 4 a is a minus 1 by 4 now substitute a b a b c and d in equation number 1 that means u bar of z divided by z is equal to a is a minus 1 by 4 into 1 upon z minus 1 substitute equation number 1 means this one a b c d okay that means split it we get like this substitute a b c d values b is a 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 into 1 upon z plus uh, sorry z minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 4 into 1 upon z plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into 1 upon z plus 1 whole square now take z is a cross multiply each term uh, y bar of z is equal to minus 1 by 4 into z upon z minus 1 plus 1 by 4 into z upon z minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 4 into z upon z plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into z upon z plus 1 whole square multiplying each term now taking on both side inverse of z applying inverse z transform okay so minus 1 by 4 inverse z transform of z upon z minus 1 plus 1 by 4 into inverse z transform of z upon z minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 4 into inverse of z upon z plus 1 one more term plus 1 by 4 into inverse of z upon z plus 1 whole square okay you know the formula therefore inverse of z upon z minus k is a k raised to n okay now this part is a y n y n is equal to and minus 1 by 4 into 1 raised to n means 1 raised to n means 1 only plus 1 by 4 z upon z minus 1 whole square means n is second one formula plus 1 by 4 into and z upon z minus k means z minus of minus 1 means minus 1 plus to n plus 1 by 4 into and this is a part is minus 1 uh, means uh, z upon z minus 1 whole square is there I'll take minus 
and minus 1 raised to n into n. Take minus sign, minus. Okay. Now therefore, now this is equal to 1 by 4 into n minus 1 minus of minus 1 raised to n into n minus 1. Or yn is equal to n minus 1 is a common divided by 4 into 1 minus minus 1 raised to n. This is a required solution.